All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a really common question that I get, which is, are fig trees better when planted in the ground or are fig trees better planted in containers? And I wanna say this before I give my answer is that I think no matter which method you choose, you're gonna see good results. Figs are certainly one of the best fruiting plants for containers. Of course they do really well in the ground. And I think no matter what your situation is, it's worth growing a fig tree. So don't be discouraged if I say that one is better than the other. A lot of people have no choice onto each method. Maybe they only have a balcony and they can't plant fig trees in the ground. Maybe they live in a really cold place like zone four or zone five where it's really difficult to get our fig trees through in the winter time well, then you have no choice but to grow them in containers. You know, what if uh, you don't want to deal with pots? What if you have a bad back and all you can do is just plant your fig tree in the ground? You don't want to bother with moving your potted fig trees. You don't want to be have this extra cost associated with them of buying the pot, buying the soil, buying the fertilizer, watering them every day. Um, and then, of course, you have no choice but to plant them in the ground. So I think no matter, again, no matter which method you choose, you're gonna see great results. I find that the trees that are planted in the ground are just superior in almost every way. But these container fig trees here, like this one here is only in its second season. It doesn't really even have a whole lot of branching on it. And it's got about 30 to 35 figs. I think that's pretty darn impressive. Uh, for this little tree. Maybe it's on the 25, somewhere around 20 to 25 to 20 to 30. But uh, regardless, I think fig trees in containers, I've grown thousands of them in containers at this point. You can very easily get 50 to 75 figs in a three or five gallon size pot. Now, you have to get everything right. You have to have the right fertilizer, the right soil, right amount of moisture, good structure to your tree, good sunlight, and a variety that also produces a lot of figs, like Villa de Bordeaux or Martinenca Blanca as an example. But this can be done. Um, and I, I guess in that sense, that's a really good number. I think most people would be happy with 50 figs from their tree. And of course, the bigger the pot size is, the more figs they will produce. But that's the limitation with containers is there's only so much nutrients, there's only so much water, only so much room to grow. So if you want to have a tree that produces more, of course, when it's in the ground, it has free reign to do what it wants and spread and gather nutrients and water at will. So that's my advice. You want more figs. I have figs in the ground. At this point, they're probably in their fifth season. Uh, I have some trees producing anywhere from 300 to 500 figs in that fifth season. So I think that's, to me, uh, really impressive. I'd rather have that. Obviously, more figs to most people is probably better. But at the same time, more is not always better. What about the quality? And I've made this argument in the past in that um, you can actually regulate the soil moisture in the container really well. It's difficult, but if you get it right, there's very little difference between an in-ground fig tree in terms of quality or the figs that come from that tree and the figs that come from the potted figs. But I will tell you this, it's a lot easier to get higher quality figs from an in-ground fig tree. It's just every year I've had my trees, guys, they become better and better, more established, more mature, and they don't, are not bothered by some of the rainier conditions or moist soil that I have. And just typically they taste better. I've grown many varieties and many trees in containers. And I can tell you if I have the same variety in a pot versus the same variety in the ground, almost always it's gonna taste better in a pot or in the ground, excuse me, not in a pot. And I, that's especially true for people who live in really wet areas. If it's really hard to control the soil moisture in your pots and it rains a lot, you're gonna be way better off in the ground. 
And I think that's pretty much across the board for everybody. So you're gonna see a higher quality. And for me, I want the best fig eating experience possible. So if I had the choice, again, another vote in favor of an in-ground fig tree. One thing I think a lot of people don't, they don't realize as well, this is something I learned that's relatively new this year, is the Brava crop um, typically will be much more plentiful, much better tasting, at a higher quality and also drop less from trees that are planted in the ground and more established. Now you can get a nice Brava crop from a container fig tree. Don't get me wrong. I had a, a tree back here, actually Eve's black cherry that produced a decent amount of Brava. I was quite surprised. Um, I've also had in the past, you, know, you could see varieties like Desert King or Villa de Bordeaux. Um, I'm sure there's some others that I'm not thinking of, but certainly you can get decent results from a container fig tree when it comes to that Brava crop. But I think the in-ground figs are king. They just never really drop as much, uh, or I should say they, they're more reliable. They don't drop as much. They taste better. And that Brava crop can, for a lot of people can be very valuable. The, the Bravas and what they do is they ripen on last year's wood and they ripen about 30 to 45 days earlier than the main crop of figs. Figs produce two different distinct crops of figs. So that's why that's important. Um, and I think that a lot of people are unaware even that their tree can even produce Brava. Um, and so if you wanna have a variety that does it, that produces that, plant it in the ground, I know you will see more success. So those are the main reasons there, I think. There are definite benefits to having them in containers, like being able to move them, protect them from the cold, give them an early head start, grow varieties like this one here is a hibernanka fig, which ripens rather late for my Philadelphia area climate. So I can put this in a greenhouse, get the figs to form earlier, and then I'll actually get it to ripen in the length of my season. So there are definite benefits, but for the most part, I'm really only growing fig trees in containers for trialing them seeing if they're any good. If I like them, then I'll plant them in the ground. But I don't wanna give up that valuable real estate, that valuable space of planting to a tree that I'm inevitably gonna rip out or dig up. So um, those are my thoughts and I don't think that will change. So I thank you guys here for watching. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.